guys, what is up? It's me, Foxy Girl. I'm here today, and uh, what are we doing, guys? We're in a gigantic mouth. What does the fox say? What the fox say? Um, anyways, guys, we are on Pixelmon today. Um, if you guys couldn't tell, this is a little statue of a... Shoot, what do you call it? I forgot what you call these things. Uh, they evolved from the Magikarp. Uh, we're one of the giant statues of that guy. This is the spawn. Um, it's a pretty epic Pixelmon server, and I'm really excited for this new series. It's really fun. Like, it's so much fun. Like, you don't even know. Okay, so I'm sure all of you guys have heard of the new Pixelmon server. Or, well, not really the new Pixelmon server, but more like the new Pixelmon mod. There was recently a new Pixelmon mod released, uh, because as most of you should know, the old Pixelmon mod was uh, shut down by Nintendo for, you know, a little bit silly reasons. I'm not gonna get into that. But this new mod has been created by a friend of mine, but uh, we've been talking for a while. I used to record on his old Pixelmon server back in the day when Pixelmon was um, not threatened by Nintendo. Now, he has created this whole new Pixelmon mod with a new Pokemon, different textures, different stuff than the old Pixelmon mod. Um, and you know, I'm really excited. So you guys should totally join because it's totally epic and the time that he has put into the server is amazing. Um, his love for the server is crazy cool and his love for Pixelmon is awesome and he's a great person. So please go and support him and uh, join the server and make the server even bigger than it already is because it's amazingly fun. Um, and I, I love Pixelmon. It's pretty much the only thing I play on Minecraft anymore. <laughs> So yeah, make sure to join. IP will be down in the description. Make sure to join and download the Pixelmon mod because the mod will also be in the description. Okay, so anyways guys, we got a little tour of spawn. There's like little statues. I really want that Pokemon. I forgot, I don't know what it's called, but I just really want it. I have a Gudra, adorableness. Um, I'll probably show you guys my Gudra. Then when you go down here, you got a little uh, recognition board thing, it's like recognizing everything. Over here are the crates, legendary crate, dark ninja token crate, dark ninja token crate, dark ninja token crate, dark ninja token crate. Yeah, you got four of them, I don't know why, but you do. Daycare is a place where you level up and breed your Pokemon. Be back soon. So they're not here anymore. I don't know, they used to have a little daycare area in there. Area? Area. And it was really cute. Um, then over here is the healing area. There's uh, shop keepers over there. Those used to be portals to nowhere. Now they're just blocked off. Uh, there is this. Uh, the fossil machine armor bob thingy. Um, and if you don't already have a PC at your place, you can use one right here for all your pokes. I got a decent amount of pokes right there. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Then these are my shinies. I don't have very many shinies. This is also a shiny Suicune and I love it. Then you got your little trading station and when you go out here, there's a gigantic city. Uh, fighting area, there's warps to the gyms and everything. Uh, there's a shop down there. There's an apricot farm over there. There's a, there's a lot of stuff. So, there's a lot of stuff. But, there comes to a part where, you know, there's the wild, and you should probably build something of your own. Like that. This is my house, guys. Right here. You know, it looks so tiny and cute and little. You guys ready to see? You can go up here, and it's adorable! There's two little beds, and beds heal your Pokemon, so when you, um, you click it, it says, That was a good nap, your Pokemon have been healed. You can go out here, and you know, there's a little patio. You can go back in, D ignore what's outside that door, you'll, you'll, we'll get to it. And then I got my little crafting table, my little trash bin on top of the crafting table, and my little healer, not that I really need that. I got my PC, and uh, this thingy, which you can buy, I mean, I don't even know why I need it, but you can buy that. Um, then, guys, you ready for the secret? It's not really a small area at all! It's gigantic! Okay, so right here we got all of our chests. We got a ton of stuff, guys. A ton. Insane amount of stuff. We got some gym badges, Pokemon boost stuff, rare stuff, Pokeballs. We got a lot of Pokeballs. Look at this. We got those two. And those. We got so many Pokeballs. We got this, which goes down. There's used to be lava there. Um, but there's not anymore because I used it all for right here in this area. Um, 
Then we have our enchanting room right here. We got our gym badge wall right there. We got a little uh, infinite water source right there. We got more lava. I'm gonna start building out over there. And we got our furnace room. That's a lot of furnaces. All right guys, so you decide that you want to go for a stroll. You go out and oh my God, what is that? What do you have over there? There's a jungle over there and there's a random little thingy going all the way down there. That's just to get down. But um, if you go down over here, you can follow the path. Uh, this is all, why are you frozen over? I'm, I'm triggered. It's not supposed to be frozen over. Uh, so we're down, we're into this little valley. I gotta build, I have to build all over here because that's not, uh, that's new. I had to actually re, like copy and paste this world into this one because they restarted the world uh, cause the world was lagging a lot and they had to figure out a way to make it not lag. And they realized that it was this plugin that they had that was making the trees fall weird and uh, yeah, anyways, so they pasted in this area. I had to do a lot of terraforming all that's terraformed all this is terraformed all that all that on the other side I think I still need to do a little bit more. This needs to be terraformed um, That's got to be terraformed. Oh my god. I Need to do a lot of work there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is uh this is just a little area where you can store your uh, blocks that aren't really as useful because I don't really like keeping them in there. There's a diamond in there. Why is there a diamond there? Um, so yeah, that's that. This other one, I don't know. I might have somebody living in here if they want. Um, not really going to be a ton of space, but you know, whatever you want. Then if you go up these little stairs right here, you can, okay. You can walk right up these little stairs. Um, and you can go right over to my friend's house. I'm sure you guys know who my friend is. His name is Arbiter the Dog, or Josh. Um, and he lives right over here in this little beautiful building right here. He's got this area, and also you can go down here into this little beautiful area. Um, but yeah, like I said, I terraformed this entire area. Um, it's a pretty epic server. It's really fun. I love playing on it. The community is pretty great. Everybody's like really nice and chill. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the top 10 players. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm flying, it's because I have the YouTube rank and I can fly and you know, flying is just pretty useful. Okay. So I think I should probably show off some of my Pokemon. So this is my favorite, uh, Pokemon. Her name means, uh, well, what is her name? Her name means like water princess or something. Somebody else named her. Um, and they're like, hey, name your Pokemon this. And then I was like, okay, sure. Uh, then we have my mega evolving Charizard. His name is Orange because he's orange. So why not? Then we got my Lucario who is not named yet. He's gigantic. He does not mega evolve yet, but I shall mega evolve him soon. We got our Sharpedo. We got our Dragonite. I named him Drag Queen because, you know, <laughs> it's a pretty epic name if you ask me. And last but not least, we got Claws who is our... Uh, Zangoose. He's pretty, pretty beautiful. All right, guys. So that was just for my special team of Pokemon. That's my main fighting team. Uh, but after that, we have Gudra. We have uh, my Gardevoir. And of course, I had to name him the famous Leafy is here because Gardevoir looks like a leaf. So, you know, why not? We got our Garchomp. We got our Halucha. We got Pyro, the majestic lion Pokemon. Dude. I want to show you off. Stop moving. The majestic lion Pokemon. We got our Psyda. Uh, I'm dating Rusty Dog T and uh, his favorite Pokemon is Psyduck. So I decided to catch a Psyduck. Even though I don't even battle with the Psyduck, the Psyduck's level 10. I decided to name him Alex because that was my boyfriend's name. We got our nine tails, beautiful shiny Pokemon. Do you see those blue tails? I think it's a shiny. Then we got our Snorlax. Look at how beautiful this guy is. He's just blubbery and his like face. Then we got our Rapidash. I swear, I love Rapidash. They're just beautiful. You can like ride on them. We got our Lapras. This is like my water riding Pokemon. If I want to go swimming, I just go with Lapras. We got Stammerot. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Then you got your Luxray. I used to love Luxray like so much. They're just adorable. They used to be my favorite Pokemon. And then I found out there was a Vulpix and I was like, oh my God, that's the cutest little Pokemon ever. All right, guys. So my shiny team right here, they don't all fight on the same team team but my first and favorite pokemon is suicune you guys already met her then there is nine tails you guys already met her too 
Then there's Greninja. We got a shiny Greninja, guys. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Now we got our Umbreon. Oh, ho, ho. Um, so yesterday I randomly saw this Pokemon in my uh, PC. It's a Marsh Stomp. It's so cute, but I don't know where I got it from. And last but not least, my starter Pokemon, Jolteon. So I know this video isn't like super, oh, it's so fun and it's so funny. Uh, it's more like an informative video, like sort of cool, like update-ish thing on my Pixelmon world. Uh, but on this server, you get to start off with two starters. Once you join the server, you get your first starter. And then if you talk to uh, the director of the, the server owner, you can get your second uh, starter. I, I think they still do this, but I'm not sure because, you know, I joined a while ago. Plus, you get a house in the giant city. Yes, that is right. You can pick out any of these houses and you can talk to like an admin or... Um, uh, the owner or someone and just be like hey so I want to get a house can I choose a house and they'll be like yeah sure and then you can choose a house and you get one of these if you don't want to build one of your own um, they'll claim it for you or you can claim it yourself this is only your house nobody else can access it um, and yeah it's pretty cool okay so all right guys so I was bored one day and I decided to make a little roller coaster and we're not done with it yet We're gonna keep on going, but for now, this is all that I have Um, so yeah guys, that's really all that I have for you today I'm sorry if this video wasn't exactly like what I normally do, but hey, it's sort of like a little invitation saying, hey, come on. Um, but anyways, guys, to get the mod, you have to go onto the Discord server, and that's where the new updates always come out, is on that server. There's a link to the Mediafire or wherever the that uh, mod is downloadable, so you can go there download it make sure to join the discord server um and the server ip will be in the description and i hope to see all of you guys on bye